Yo, what is up, everybody? Hope you guys are doing okay. Uh, happy Thursday. I want to get this live on and popping and started for you guys. I want to make sure that you guys have all your questions answered today. I'm gonna pop these off because I know that could be annoying. But today, I'm gonna stop the music. <laughs> Today, I want to make sure that you guys have all your questions answered, like I mentioned, and um, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly what the title says, literally the um, the $100 a day. I know everyone that says that, but I'm going to show you exactly the surefire way you can use the tools used to do so. Isaac Goodness, you're the first one that I saw popped up on my feed as far as commenting. So what's up to you, sir? You are our first comment winner. So you're going to be, oh, sorry, wrong book. <laughs> <laughs> you can read that if you want, but you're going to be either a winner of this Kevin David um, Unfair Advantage book, or you can also uh, choose a unemployed CEO t-shirt, which should be up to you. Um, you will be getting a link shortly, my man. And I remind me before that live ends, or you can find me on Facebook at your Romeo to remind me. So really quick, guys, I just want to show you some stuff before we get popping. I'll tell you what's going to be going on for today. Click get all live notifications if you guys haven't already. It's the best way to get notified. Also, we're live on YouTube as well. If you guys are not subscribed to the More Kevin David channel, you should be because doing that will just increase your chances for knowing when we go live and be part of the giveaways that we give every single week, um, which is a free uh, the free T-shirt you guys see down there, $100 giveaway, and the book for Kevin David. So we give away to three winners always. So if you guys are interested, the most engaged person is the one who's going to, I'm going to be choosing by the end of this live to win the $100 right here. Smack dab, baby. All right. I don't have my glasses on today, but it's all good. All right. So let's see what's going on today. Um, if you guys have any questions, I always love this guy. I love his smile. It says, day one as a ninja, no longer working corporate drone nine to five. I love seeing that. All right, guys. If you have questions right now, in, as far as uh, Shopify or drop shipping goes, if you're just brand new here, let me know if you're super brand new, if this is your first time live with us. Um, I like to know some people have like shout us out when they're super live. So go ahead and let us know if you're live um, and we can go ahead and get it popping. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to be sharing my screen, showing you guys um, the number one tool that we've been you know, either alluding to, talking about, or showing you clips and bits and pieces of. And I want to make sure that you guys are truly aware of the power of this tool. We're going to pretty much go through the entire list so that way you have time to understand and feel if it's a good move for you to take the leap forward. All right. Um, remember, you're quarantined. This is going to be your best opportunity to pretty much dive in into your own thing, which is your business on the side, what have you, whatever it is you're trying to do. Um, this will be a good opportunity for you to try to figure that out while kind of like the economy is kind of like a standstill. It feels like someone hit the pause button. So I think it's kind of cool. Uh, first questions, let's go ahead and knock out some questions out the way. My man, Marshall Jarvis, man, I love you were here yesterday and I know Marshall, you was the hundred dollar winner, um, from yesterday. So congratulations to him. Hey, look, so Marshall asked, what's the difference between drop shipping and using FBA through Zonbase? So Zonbase, so Amazon is different from Shopify, right? That's why um, when we talk about drop shipping, most people use Shopify or other softwares like Shopify, like WooCommerce, things like that. But Shopify, is, in my opinion, has been the easiest to use. Um, probably the most, I guess, uh, cust you know, like easy on the eyes, the user interface is a lot easier. And I really love their customer service, to be honest with you. The Shopify gurus know what they're talking about and they're really there to help you. So the difference is Amazon, um, for those of you guys who don't know who are brand new, I see a couple of you guys saying you're new here. Um, Amazon is where you buy your, your actual items in bulk, right? From wherever your supplier is. Most people go through China, Chinese suppliers and some people go through US suppliers or other, other areas. So whichever one you choose, find a supplier, buy in bulk. You usually, per, you usually find a product that's actually um, has a, uh, what do you call that? A um, high demand, you know, that actually has proven data to show that people are actually buying this, right? Or else why would you waste your money? And so the tools that we're showing you are helping you to sift through the data to figure out what actual items are actually selling, which ones are showing the demands, which ones are actually popping. So again, you're, you're, you need a tool to help you find products to sell on Amazon. I won't say you need to, but it helps you to find products to sell on Amazon that you can be confident that will sell on Amazon. The only way you do that is by having tools or software like Zonbase or Shop Inspect, which I'm going to show you guys, to help you to make that decision to say, oh, okay, this one shows proven numbers. Usually products that sell this much, usually 
uh, ends up being, you know, the winners. So let me go ahead and run some tests. So Shopify is a little different though. Shopify, you find a winning product, you find a supplier, usually through Alibaba, who already has the supplies. You don't have to buy in bulk or anything. You only purchase the product when someone purchases from your ads that you're running on Facebook, which is why Shopify is usually a much smaller barrier to entry, but now you have a lot more players and competition as well. But as long as you have a cool marketing angle and you, as long as you pick a really good product um, and you have good copy, good product, there's really nothing to stop you from being super successful here. Check out the previous lives that we had from other folks that came here live to speak, Justin Wall, Dan De Silva, some, and a few other folks who have been crushing it in the, in the game of uh, dropshipping and even Kevin David to show you guys how to do it correctly, all right? So hopefully what I'm gonna show you today is gonna be very helpful. I know it'll be helpful. It's a matter of whether or not you're, you're gonna take my word for it and actually dive in. So a few more people are new here, first time here. What is up? What was that? My man, um, Kareed, I hope I got that right, Kareed. Daniel, what's up? Any new people, guys, just let me know if you're new here so I don't just talk over your heads. Ask your questions. That was a good question from Marshall asking the difference between Amazon FBA and Shopify. All right. If we're ready to get cracking, let's get started. And I want to go ahead and share my screen here so you guys can see it. I'm going to keep this live super short, straight to the point, and only answer questions right after we're done. All right. So you see my screen here. This is called shopinspect.com. If you guys are not familiar with it or you guys never heard of it, this is very similar to Zonbase Marshall. This is the Zonbase kind of version, right? The software to find products to sell. And these, the, the, the reason why this is so powerful to help you find that $100 a day product is because it does the data scraping for you on AliExpress, on Alibaba to help you find that product that has proven numbers to really be a banger or a hit on your Shopify store, on your drop shipping store. So we're going to go ahead and, and, and go to my favorite app here. The first one is um, hot trending products. Your mentality when you're here, though, you want to understand that this shop inspect, think of it like the toolbox. And I always say each of these little tools are each of these little boxes are tools that you can actually use to help you build your store, right? Your hammer. This is your hammer. This is your monkey wrench. This is your pliers. Like this is why I think about it because each of these tools play a really pivotal role on helping you to actually take it to the next level with your store, right? So we're going to start with um, hot trending products, which is what I love because hot trending products is where you actually get to see the products shine, right? You get to see the numbers, you get to see the fun stuff. Um, let me see if I can zoom in here so you guys can see a little bit better. Yeah, I think so it's not too blown out. Um, here, this is a ceiling pour bag. What I'm trying to look for right now here, just to give you guys a little concept here. When you're here on this page, you wanna look, all these, all of this is updated every four hours directly from AliExpress or Alibaba, okay? This is where the data comes from, right? Now, we only choose the ones that show the greatest amount of growth, right? So you'll see this one has 398% growth this month from 200, from 50 orders, was 50 orders last month, and then 249 this month, right? So that's pretty cool. So, all right, we'll take a look at that. But my store, let's say, for example, I'm focused on the electronic niche and I want to find something that's going to be pr pretty cool electronically, right? Or whatever niche you choose, you want to find a product that fits that. So here, this one looks pretty cool. This is volleyball training equipment. So it's like a little wrist band, a little wrist thing that wraps around your waist, it looks like. Let me take a look at this because it's showing some really good growth. And I'm going to show you guys one other thing here. I'm going to go back so you can see it. You see that hot tag on there? That hot tag is really letting you know that that one showed some really, really good growth, right? This one is obviously people have been actively ordering this like, like crazy. So you want to go ahead and pay attention to the ones with the hot tags because they're the ones that are showing the most products, right? Not that this isn't, but just letting you know this is super hot, right? Super hot product. So you want to hop on those and make sure that you're, you know, you have enough space, enough profit margin to make with that product. I'm gonna show you how to break those numbers down. So with this one, this is a volleyball training equipment. You can see the rating here um, straight from AliExpress, and then you can also um, see the item from AliExpress if you click on that button here. It should take you straight there, so you can take a look at that, right? So boom, you can do that there from, from um, Shop Inspect and also gives you the price range, shows you the percentage of growth from last month to this month, right? And then you can go all the way down here and get, this is, this, is, this is what's most important, the analytical data, right? The analytical data that really breaks down to you the factory price, right? So each of these per piece is sold for about $7.14, right? So shipping's already included and they let you know this is the cool part, recommended selling price 
this is about $17.99, right? So you have about a $10, maybe $9 spread. And it says, yeah, so profit margin is here. Now, remind you, this profit margin does not include the advertising costs you need to do for running advertising and marketing campaigns and things of that nature, okay? So be mindful of that. Now, if you're running ads, here's a good thing, suggested ads for targeting. You can test out physical fitness. You can test out words or keywords like health and wellness and physical therapy. These are the type of folks who would use that, right? And so you are type of keywords that would be used if you're gonna do some advertising. You go to the right, you'll see word clouds, words you can use in your title, words you can use in your store, words you can use um, based on search volume, you see how this volleyball equipment training is the largest. Well, that's because um, the words that are the largest in font show the most search volume. So I would definitely be using this one and hover over it and tells me it says volleyball equipment training. I would make sure that's somewhere in my copy, somewhere in my advertisement, because that, that's the actual term or phrase that people are actually typing in to look for something similar to this. So that's very important. Down below here is customer demographics, which I also like too. It obviously shows more female are more willing to purchase this product than males, but I would still advertise to both female and males because obviously it's, it's kind of close. And I would advertise to probably the age 25 to about 54, right? If you want to open it up brand, you know, really wide so Facebook can kind of decide who's really interested or not so you don't exclude anybody, you can do a wide open campaign, right? And I would do, I've, I've, been, um, I've been playing around with CBO campaigns and I really like them because, you know, it's a set number for that campaign. Like, let's say if you want to spend 50 bucks a month and that's all, I mean, 50 bucks a month, 50 bucks a day or 30 bucks a day or 20 bucks a day and that's all you have, but you want to see which ad is going to win right? So you can create a CBO campaign that, that says 20 bucks a day. And I have five different ads with different pictures, different videos or different ad copy. And I want to test to see which one is the winner. This is kind of how you let the ads duke it out, right? And so it's going to test out $20 every single day. And it's going to feed the ad that has the most or highest reach or is performing the best. So say out of the $20, you have five different ads. So you would think $4 for each ad. But if one ad is not performing, Facebook will then put more money or the rest of the money to the ad that is performing. So that way you can see at the end of the day, like, oh, this is, this is you know, Facebook or the, the market seems to like this ad better than the rest. So you can turn off the ads that are not working and then leave the rest that are working or switch out the ad creative and keep testing, right? This is a cool way if you're in a budget and you want to test out something to see if it works. If it blows up, you're supp you don't have any, this is the beauty about drop shipping. You don't have any products in your house or anything like that. So what you would do is actually have, um, just orders to be placed. After the person places the order on your store, they've sent you money. Now you go, they sent you the $17.99, right? For example, uh, right here, $17.99. They purchased it. Let's say you're selling it for $17.99. They purchased it for $17.99 from your Shopify store. They pay you that money. Now you go and buy that from AliExpress for $7.14, leaving you with $10.85 minus however much money you spent on ads, right? So that's why I said it takes, it costs less money because there's more testing involved and you have to be more hands-on unless you're teamed up with some type of agency that you're working with, right? But I recommend if you're just starting out as your own, instead of paying money to an agency yourself, learn how to do it. And maybe you can start your own e-com agency where once you get a good hang of it and how to do it, um, you'll be able to open up an agency of your own to help people start Shopify stores and find products. And this Shop Inspect could be the tool you use to help to find those hot products for them, right? You just say, hey, what niche are you in? What niche are you interested in? So we can find products that match that. Or some people might just say, I just want products that sell. And so you can go hot trending products and find products that sell. And you keep testing the products that show based on the data that works. So that way you can actually use products that actually have a high chance of being a winner. So just want to say that, okay? Hope that makes sense so far. Drop a one in the comment section if what I'm saying so far makes sense. I think I see you guys dropping some comments here. Let me see what you guys are doing. A lot of people are just coming in, which is cool. So I'm really keeping this really in the beginning, keeping it sit step by step for you guys. All right, so some of our folks from Shop Inspect are here. Make sure you take advantage of the free e-com course. If this is your first time, listen up right now. I'm being 100% honest. In the description is going to be a link that says m.mini.me slash ecom2020. It's going to be our folks from Shop Inspector here helping you guys to get a free dropshipping course. If you're brand new, don't have money for a course, that course from Kevin David is free. 
So you can dive in there, get acquainted. He explains everything you need to know from the beginning so that way you can learn about dropshipping, right? Um, and he's doing this to make sure he spreads the word out about the different opportunities to make money. So yesterday we talked about Amazon. So if you were there, you guys lucked out and got the course, right? For now, for today, this is going to be a course on e -com. So make sure because it does expire. If you wait, it expires and it's no longer going to be free. You're going to have to pay the money for it. But since it's free, it's a coupon, you get it. All right. So if you guys understand me so far, we're going to go on to the next step here. So now that you, this is how you find a good, hot trending product. And I want to focus on that because this is where the potential really, truly starts for you. Um, once you find a product that sells, um, <clears throat> many people have different ways of doing this, trying to opening up a store, testing out a bunch of products randomly, like testing out the, the, the ceiling pour bags, testing out the volleyball training equipment, testing out this. And then once you find a winner and you, let's say, let's say the volleyball training equipment becomes the winner. Like people tend to buy that from your store. Then what most people would do would, would be either open up another store or drop the items that are not selling very well, and then create a store that's around training, equipment, yoga, and then focus on like training and fitness. Remember, okay, um, the major niches you should focus on in health, wealth, and health, <laughs> keep this, health, wealth, and relationships. If you fall within those categories, you'll always be in business, right? Health is going to be dealing with fitness, nutrition, you know, um, sleep, health, all of that, right? Um, health wealth is dealing with finances, helping other people to make money, helping agencies to make more money, getting more customers, things of that nature. Health wealth relationships, people who are in the dating space, match.com, helping you find a partner, um, creating an ebook about how to lose weight so you can track the person you love, like that kind of stuff. If you're falling within those three categories, you will always be in business. I promise you that. Okay. So if you're brand new to online marketing or marketing in general, just if you remember that, that'll be a good basis for you to go off of with your online journey. All right. Um, <laughs> Dan Fial says, Drew, my man, no problem, man. I saw you. Everybody call me Kevin. I'm not. Kevin has been out in the sun if he looks like me. Right. Probably turned red. Um, <laughs> and Debbie's in the building, y'all. All right. So let's scroll down and see what other ones. I'm going to speed this up a little bit because I want to give you guys more chances to talk about the questions because it's about you, not about me. Just yapping about this. Right. But I want to help you to understand the tool that you'll be using. And don't forget. I always ask if there's a free trial and there is a free trial, seven days. So if, if ever you're thinking like, oh, this guy's trying to sell me something. No, it's seven days free trial. Test it out. It may be for you. It may not be. You may have another one you like. That's fine. But I want to show you what we have within the community, within the Kevin David community, with the Ecom Ninjas community, what we've been using so you guys can understand exactly what tools are at your disposal. Um, mixed color bamboo toothbrush. That's pretty cool, right? It looks really eco-friendly. You can probably target folks with it. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Um, this one over doubled, right? It's 100% growth, shows that it's hot, right? Over 100% growth in literally a month, which is cool. I'm trying to think in my head, like I would like target people who are vegans, maybe people who are like health, health conscious, people who are in like uh, groups that are about save the animals, protect the earth, right? Which we all should be pretty much. But what I'm saying is it's pretty appealing. Here's the cool thing though. When you find a product, the number one, who can tell me the number one piece of ad creative that sells the most? Is it pictures or videos? Tell me which one sells the most down below. The first person with the answer, I'm going to see if they got it right. And then we can proceed. I'll show you how you guys can do something pretty cool here. Okay. Is it video or pictures that sell more with advertising? And you tell me, I'm waiting for somebody to answer because I know somebody's in there. All right. Rostam says video. And again, Marshall says video. 100% correct. Rostam, good job. And then Marshall, good job, right? So good job. So it's video, right? <laughs> somebody said pictures, 100%. No, it's actually video. And this is why a lot of advertisements when you're on YouTube, when you're on um, Facebook, they used to be pictures. Pictures do work, but videos are the most effective. They're most engaging. They're, they're most, they stop your attention, whatever you're doing. They get you to pay attention to that thing, right? Weird colors, people dress weird, doing funny stuff. Russell Bunsen is amazing at this. Kevin David does this a lot as well. Um, Dan Henry, a lot of good, good marketers do this. And if you pay attention to your newsfeed, you'll see the ads and how they get you to stop, right? And pay attention and watch a little bit of it. Another guy is Billy Jean. He's another good one too. You watch and learn from these guys. So here, when you find a product, you're like, all right, well, I see these cool pictures that are available to me to use, right? I like this one, right? You can use this colorful one for pride. If you want to, um, the LGBT community, right? You can target them with that. And just, people might just gravitate to that. You never know, right? So if you do that um, right here, 
you can go down to um, these pictures, make sure that they're, you can buy them in packs like this. You can have up close different versions like that, kind of color of the ocean. You can call these the aquatic brushes or the, you can call these the mermaids, right? Or the rainbow of life. I don't know, some cool names you can put to these things and um, create a video. This is now where it gets fun, right? So now you get to write, you can change all of this, but it's already pre-filled for you. So the video that I'm gonna show you is gonna be pictures, but in movement. So as long as your photos have movement and pictures are moving around in Facebook, right? And you can use this on Facebook and I'll show you in a second. Um, right now, you can see each and every single feature that we um, already have pre-filled for you that you don't have to really do anything. You can literally just hit create video or you can change it, right? Let's make a change. Let's say, remember this says BPA free. I'm going to put space 100%, okay? Remember that I added that. And remember, I'm going to put this capital, all caps, BPA free, 100%. Now, that's the change I made. Let me change this to capital, non-toxic, recyclables. I'm going to change that R. Boom. So let's say that's enough. You can take pictures out. You can leave pictures in with a check mark and say, all right, cool. Um, I want to go ahead and... And you can add new pictures here. If you hit browse, you can put your own picture, like your logo or something like that. And then you hit create video. This is all included, by the way. This is going to take a few seconds. Once it's ready, hopefully everything goes well because I'm doing this live for you guys. It's not pre-made testing or whatever like that. You know how internet works and how softwares can, can um, pick up sometimes. But Daryl Smith also said um, video. You guys are all correct with videos. <laughs> Dan, that's good, though. This is why you're learning, man. Um, videos. This is why you're here to learn. So now I have the video. These are all past videos I made. The video that we created for the toothbrush. Remember what my first one was, right? BPA free, all caps, 100%. We're going to click on this. We're going to play it for you really quickly. It should be the first thing you see. I'm going to make it large so you guys can see it um, right here. Right there, BPA free, 100%. Saw that? And you get that cheesy music. You can also change it too if, you, if you're good at video editing. Right there. And it's playing just like that. Look at that. Grab yours before it's all gone. It has the ending for you. It's all set up. I love it. We used this exact type of ad for one of the products we were selling. And that was with um, Rory and I through our store. And it was, it was fresh. Like it was cool. We used it and it sold. Like we had, I think about maybe seven or eight sells because we were selling headphones, right? Um, uh, not headphones, sorry, chargers. I have a headphone here because we were trying to make this our next product right here. But it was chargers, like the, the cool chargers that go 360 moving left and right, which was pretty pretty tight. But um, but for example, I literally created a video ad right in front of your face in seconds. Like this is pretty, I think it's pretty fresh how this is so possible that you can do this. Um, I see some questions coming on here. I'm gonna catch you in a second, Dan. And so now that you have this video, you also have the pictures, right? I'm gonna just hit the back button. I'm gonna hit the back button again so we can see. We have these pictures now you can play, you can use like just this still image, right? Click, save image as, have that, use that as a static. If you wanna test between video and pictures, see what works um, better, you know what I mean? Through the CBO campaign, which is the campaign budget optimization. Um, and so this is how smooth it is, man. Like it's so beautiful. You don't have to worry about making your own video. Now, another um, section I want to direct your attention now, right? So now let's say you found a cool product. Let me see if there's anything we can find an actual ad for you guys can copy or something like that. Um, let's see. Let's see here. Let's see this Tupperware thing, right? Because I know a lot of people want are health conscious because I'm on this health conscious tip. This might as well stay here, all right? Let's stay with health conscious. This is called the manual vegetable cutter. And I get to see every picture, see what they mean by that. Pull a string. It's like a manual processor, so to speak, right? So if you don't have any electricity, which could be your selling point, no electricity, no problem. A manual vegetable cutter is gonna be here to help you out. And so boom, you can use that. How much is it selling for? Good ratings, 415%, awesome. They're selling for about 793, right? People are selling for about $19.99, leaving you with about $12 for each one that is sold as profit. Remember, not including marketing. So if you do Facebook ads, testing out $20 a day, you'll be able to better um, know where your money's going and track your money better, okay? Um, so now that we know this, so I say, okay, vegetable cutter. Remember, I didn't do this live, okay? So now the next thing I wanna direct your attention to is called um, 
uh, add inspect, right? Add inspect. So we're gonna do, let me see, it's I see vegetable cutter. Let's say the purpose of this right here is gonna be very, very cool. And I'm gonna do a random test first. Everybody knows Kevin David here, right? If you don't, you're in the wrong place. So I'm gonna do Kevin David. Let's see, let's see what Kevin David's up to. Let's see what kind of ad he's running. I, I like his stuff. Let's see if he um, has some stuff that may, I like, right? Like his ad copy. Okay, let's see. Okay, he says the number one online business. Okay, cool, quadrupled. All right, and then you can watch the video here, right? You find and look up, um, you look up ads that are currently running right now on, on, on Facebook, and you can see what they're targeting, who they're targeting, why they're targeting, what states, what countries. Play the video right here. You know, Bob Proctor once said the mentor. Right? Something. You can play each of the ads here. You can see videos. You can see pictures. Um, anything that fits the keywords you typed in into the ad inspect will show up. Kevin David's other videos that are launching right now, you can do this here too for Amazon FBA, which is cool, right? So same concept. Now we want to look for a specific thing because I want to know – I want to have an idea of how our people, other people, how you can inspire on their ads. How are they running ads for this particular product I'm thinking about running, right? Which is why this tool is so important, right? So now you found out the numbers sound pretty good. Now let's see what other people have been advertising them for, okay? And, and, and how they're advertising. So let's do vegetable cutter. See if that even pops up. Which is cool. So now you're going to see more like knives, right? But you can still learn from this. Even though it's not your exact product, you can still learn from this. Like something like this would be closer to your product, right? Something manual like this. See how they use the wording, right? You can spy on them. Now you're like, all right, let me see how this guy is selling his stuff. You can see, okay, upgrade your kitchen skills. Cool. Seven in one vegetable cutter. Awesome. So you saw one thing they said, upgrade your life pretty much. Your life sucks right now and you need to upgrade your kitchen skills because obviously it sucks. Now they then highlighted a feature about it, right? They said seven in one vegetable cutter right over here. And so now I'm, I'm helping myself with ad copy. You can just highlight this. You see how short the copy is? Highlight this, right click, copy, and then you can change the words up, save the same emojis because it's a similar product. It saves you a lot of time is what I'm trying to say. Then you go over here and you also type in instead of seven in one vegetable cutter, you can say no electricity, no problem. Take this camping, take this wherever you want to go. But as long as you have this with you and you're able to pull this string, you will have chopped vegetables in seconds. Like that's something you can say, right? And then here you can finish reading and say the dream tool for your dream kitchen. Like that's cool. You can keep that if you want to. That sounds pretty cool. And then slice, grate, dice. They just listed off a few things, right? So you can do the same thing. Model it, right? Home chef to professional with one tool. Like that's a cool line. Like I wouldn't have thought of that right now. So you can use that or you can use something. Um, you could say amateur chef to, you know, um, you know, professional, be cool or, or top chef or what's that chef? Iron chef. You can say uh, amateur chef to iron chef in minutes and you can use something like that, which is cool. And then you can play the video just to see what kind of videos they're playing. Maybe you have a camera at home with your and your wife or your girlfriend or, or your boyfriend can just record you um, with, with like just like Dan DeSilva showed you like a couple lives ago how he did it with his own camera crew and just recorded him using it. Look, they're just using it, showing it in use in the kitchen, chopping up different veggies, two scenes, right? One far away, one up close, showing the features, switching the stuff out, chopping up different things. I like this. Okay, cool. I have some ideas I can do with mine like that. Clean up my kitchen, have good lighting, shoot my video if I want to, or use the video that I already have. Awesome. All right, cool. They show me how to chop different fruits and different connections. That's good. I can roll with this. That's only one so far out of everything we typed in, right? So if you guys find this powerful so far, let me know in the comment section. Is this helpful? Does this sound cool, right? Um, and then we're going to be prepping for another giveaway real quick, okay? All right, here's some more tools. Let's see what this one is about. I know this is about 25 seconds. All right. This is an automatic apple peeler, which is pretty cool. All right. So that's pretty cool. Now check this out. I want to want you to direct your attention right here to this bottom area. So for each of these ads, they tell you exactly what's going on, what they're targeting, right? So this one shows it has an engagement of 157. Um, and a couple of people like showed some engagement, like a like, a heart. If you guys haven't clicked a heart on this yet, I need you to do so, right? Let's get the word out here so far so more people can know that this is live. And then no comments yet, which is cool. 151 shares. In my opinion, I think shares are more important than comments. Like comments, 
Comments are very important, don't get me wrong, but shares means that they're sharing to a whole new friend network of friends. So now that they can now share it to a whole nother network of friends, which is how things get viral. So this is how you get viral videos. This is how you get people to click on your stuff nonstop. They're targeting females, right? Particularly around the ages of 51 and in the United States. So that's pretty fresh. You get to see the country, who they're targeting, how many comments and engagements they got. You get to watch their video. You get to see how they set this up. You can see their offer. If you want to actually click on it, hit shop now. There you go. Boom. They're selling it for $30. So now instead of using the 1999, you can say, well, 2497 or 2211 or to pick a number that you can go higher than because if they're selling this for $30 and 71 cents, you can definitely raise your price. So this is how you kind of shop around to see what prices are best for you, right? So again, I, I don't want to spend too much time, but you get the idea. You get to spy and take your time. And if, if this ends, hit load more and guess what happens? If it has more ads to offer you, it's going to show more. And you can keep scrolling and keep looking for cool ad copy to use. All right. Dan Fial says, I'm digging it. Marshall says, yes. Helpful. Super awesome. Awesome. Okay. So that's ad inspect. The next thing is Shopify products. This is an, a, another way you get to spy out on other stores that are selling very similar products. And before we do that, drop a one in the comment section. If you guys are ready for our giveaway right now, it's going to be our first giveaway. Drop a one. I need five ones in order for me to drop this next question for our trivia question for today. It's going to be fun, guys. Drop a one, one, one. It'd be funny if I asked to drop a one and my screen froze and I and I just couldn't see anybody drop a one. <laughs> Marshall dropped the one. Debbie dropped the one. We need three more ones, y'all. All right. Fabrico dropped the one. I like that, Dan. Lissette. Awesome. All right, cool. All right, your question is coming up in... Sorry, guys. One second. I'm going to count down the question so everybody has a fair shot. But let me turn this off. All right, cool. All right, your question is coming up in five, four, three, two, one, and booyah! What is the periodic table symbol for potassium? Drop it in. Whether you're watching on YouTube or watching on Facebook, you can win equally. All right. All right, all right. And it can't be a repeat winner from this week, all right, from this week. And give other people a, a chance. <laughs> All right, cool. So let's see here. Fabrico tried it, didn't get it. Marshall, you won yesterday, you won this week. Dan Fial, I believe you won this week. I believe you won. Let me verify because then I can say who the real winner is. <laughs> you won this week. I want to get some new folks, right? Before we bring it around. So, yeah. Let me see if you're on the list. Give me one second. I think you are, bro. I the first person I'm going to choose for this one that I believe is a brand new winner is Carolyn Carolyn Adisa, congratulations. You won a free Kevin David uh, Unfair Advantage book and or t-shirt. And I want to make sure that you get that straight to you. You get to pick. You'll be getting a link sent to you right now in the comment section. Please fill it out as soon as possible. <laughs> that was the other Dan for y'all. That was funny. <laughs> All right. So congratulations on uh, to the winner there, guys. That was Carolyn, guys. So congratulate her. All right, so let's go ahead and get back to it so we can go ahead and get some more live. So again, all right, so back to it now. If you guys are paying attention to what I've talked about so far, you know how important the product is. So the next step now is to see other stores, what they've sold um, and how they're selling it, right? So you can search by shop or you can search by product, right? And a lot of times, if you want to see what other stores are selling, the type of product you're doing, let, let's see what stores are selling a vegetable cutter. So let's see what happens here. All right, cool. All right, we got some stuff. All right, so 
what you're looking for are similar types of um, pretty much freaking tools, like I would say. So I'm searching by product right now just to get some more information about it, right? So you want to see how the market is responding to it. And remember, their goal is to get as much data as possible, right? So the data here says um, monthly searches for this particular keyword, vegetable cutter, is uh, 1,901, right? It's pretty decent web searches. And then 88 for a smart score. Now, this smart score measures competitiveness. Um, how much competition you have out there and how compared to how much the uh, the search volume. So that's what the smart score measures. 88 is good as long as you see more green, you're in the clear. Here in the middle is a seasonality indicator letting you know if you're on the upswing or downswing. It kind of measures out throughout the year. I think it's two years, right? Back from 2018, you can see how the graph has changed to see where it's at currently or where it's predicted to go. So it's on the up and up currently at about 68. I want to say up yeah, 68 out of 100 which is good. So you want to test that out. Here are more keywords. Remember what I said, the bigger the keyword, the higher the search volume, which is fresh. Now here are other uh, like items are being sold. Your goal at this point right now is not to find the exact same product. If you do perfect, but if you don't, what you can do is look for a similar product and say, Hmm, I think this one looks probably pretty similar, like chopping, chopping of vegetables. Your goal is just to see what type of store. This is from the UK. So let's see if it comes up. Some of these come up as errors because people didn't pay their bills. But you want to see stores to get ideas of how they're advertising it on their store, see if it looks good or not. And here, I like the picture, but it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of boring, kind of. Hopefully, it's none of your products here. It's kind of boring looking. They say you may also like this. They have other pictures here, which is cool to see as a strainer. Cool. That's nice, right? I like the way what you're trying to pick up is ideas of how they're advertising this or how they're using it on their store. I like high quality images being in use, different vegetables being cut, features being shown, clicking on this, being able to see the large version of your pictures, which is also cool. Being able to use Google Pay or PayPal here, um, you know, making sure this is cleaner, not so like essay like. You want to have like bullet points maybe to be to be you know to make it look better and then if you have reviews i don't see any reviews here so i probably wouldn't take all of my you know use all my uh, efforts for figuring out how they did it so i'm going to go to the next one and check out this store let's see how this store looks like oh it's showing an error message so far it says page not found so it looks like they didn't pay their bill yeah i wouldn't follow these guys Let's see if there's another one that's similar. Let's see if these guys, hopefully they paid their bill. Oh, not that one either. Who else didn't pay their bill? You got cutters. I think this is very similar as well. Let's see if they paid their bill. So they can't be reached. All right. A lot of people having issues out here. Let's see here. All right. This one's not working either. Some folks are having issues with these. But the goal is to find a store that you want to be able to try to find things you can replicate in your own store when you're building your store with Shopify, right? So like, just like these folks had, you can find out what you want to do different, right? You can see, like I said, bullet points here, adding better photos, maybe scattered away around your entire page. So that way you don't have to have it all small and bunched up like that, right? And um, try to, if I had to mimic anybody, I would have it mimicking something like Amazon, right? So Amazon has a really clean outlay. People are used to that. They want to, because now when they go to your website, they'll feel like they're at home, right? So that way they, they're, they're at a site that looks familiar to something they're used to, which would be like Amazon or something like that. That's what I would model my stuff after, to be honest with you, right? Um, especially when it comes to like e-commerce type items like this. So after you search by product, you can also search by shop for vegetable cutter. The data up here is going to be the same, usually with the same keyword because I'm typed in the same exact keyword. Now you get to see the stores, right? The different stores and what they're selling and see the best sellers for these stores. So stores that sell similar items like yours, if you're interested, then you can go ahead and click show best sellers and it'll show you a list. And you can see this one says the inline skate, totally different, probably not the store I want. So let's see this one. We're just testing a bunch of them, right? This one is a whole different niche. They're selling a bunch of random stuff. Let's see this one, all right? This one's more like in-home stuff, which is cool. Izeoli, 
I don't even know. They sound like they didn't pay a bill. Let's see. Yeah, they sound like they didn't pay. Some of these Shopify stores that they scrape out are, are roughed out. Let's see what they're selling now. These guys selling headphones. Their best seller is, are like dog car seat covers. Let's see what other stuff we got here. Wireless, Bluetooth. All right, so not that. Let me see here what their best seller is. I'm looking for one where their best seller could be like the vegetable chopper, right? And if it's not on any of their best sellers list, then I'm like, mm, maybe I want to switch products, right? Or you can still test it to see maybe you can make a, a product listing or, or a page or a store that's dedicated to just in-home kitchen, which is a big deal, especially even on Amazon. Home and kitchen is a very big category that a lot of people like to go into. Um, here, all right, so this is perfect. So they made the list. So this one right here is called SoFlo Beauty. So you click here, you can see a lot of their best-selling items are dealing with health and beauty, right? Remember I told you, health, wealth, relationships. So we found one right here that says the best fruit and five, whatever that means. So we're gonna click on this. Uh, you let me down. But anyway, you know what their best seller are. See if this will let you in. I'm nervous because I'm using a VPN. I wonder. <clears throat> but anyway, you'll see that through these stores, you want to know how they're selling and see if it's a bestseller and what other bestseller items they have. So you can kind of like search them up too, right? Adjustable mandolin, you can search that up on the hot trading products as well. You can also, if you're in, into the beauty stuff, you can look up advanced skin spot treatment or something like that, dealing with the skin if you want to get into that realm. But these are just to give you ideas, right? The next thing I want you to focus on is top selling stores. This is what I really, really use for um, finding stores that are just killing it, right? And if you guys don't know, uh, Fashion Nova, Fashion Nova is uh, one of the highest and best selling, you know, for, for, for the uh, clothing niche. If you click on this, I know they pay their bill, right? <laughs> they always do. They got a lot of business. So if you're in the clo clothing niche, and like I said, if you guys are interested in that area, you can always find, um, ideas from them, right? They always have like attractive females. They know their care. They know their customers very well. They know what they're looking for. They know that their summers is here. So they're going to give you a bunch of bikinis, you know, really, you know, nice dresses, what girls will call cute dresses. They have, um, you know, discounts that you can see, right? Um, you can see that the discounts that they have all over the place that that's, that's you know, here letting people know, hey, 60% off, click here. You can use these kind of tactics on your stores, which I found to be very effective. It helped us, right, to really get our electronic stores up and popping. And um, obviously it takes work to maintain. If you wanna maintain a store, you gotta devote your time to it and go all in. But look, I like the way the Fashion Nova has the reminder that it's always uh, free shipping here, right? Very kind of like, kind of subtle. Um, they have, again, free shipping down here again. And again, like people are familiar with their, with their brand. People are familiar with how to shop here on Fashion Nova, right? And so what you wanna do is just pick up ideas from a, a, a store that's like yours. So obviously we, we're in the vegetable cutting niche, right? We're, we're not doing anything in the kitchen. So if you're in the clothing space though, this is perfect for you. And the way that this breaks down here, you can see what every store has done as far as monthly site visitors. They have over 38 million monthly site visitors. You can see here their average monthly revenue is over, it's close to 31 mil, right? And then you can check all their social channels to see if you're really building this brand out, if you're really trying to take it to the next level, you wanna have an Instagram account, you wanna have a Facebook page, but in the testing phase, if you're a beginner, you wanna be able to only focus on, you know, getting the store up and running, finding the products that are viable, that people are willing to purchase from you, okay? so. Um, here's some other ones too, right? All these stores, this is from top to bottom, from the best seller to the lower rank, top 100 stores. So shop around, see one that has, um, you know, links where that deals with like kitchen, home and kitchen, that kind of stuff, where if you're in electronics, you'll check them out. If you're in electronics, you'll check this place out because they're af obviously doing very well. This is called Republic Wireless, right? And so when you, when you find the store that actually sells like items like yours, now you can see how they're advertising, what type of angles they're using. You can tell here, folks are using pictures very much like Amazon, very plain white background, plain white background, plain white background, because people are used to seeing that, 
right? Fashion Nova decided to do, you know, Kylie Jenner. She's a prominent figure, so they use her picture, right? This one is Steve Madden. People know this brand. It's a huge worldwide brand. So pretty much these are the things that it's going to use to help you to, um, to understand how to build your store, give you ideas if you need to draw some inspiration. Um, shop search is the very same, very similar thing as well, too. You can see, oh, sorry, shop search is um, the other one. What I want to do is the um, trending stores. You can also see stores that are trending, right? So Charlotte Russe, stores that have shown the greatest growth, things of that nature. So this will be the list you look at for more inspiration if you want to find stores that are up and coming, probably don't have a super strong brand yet. Maybe they, because Charlotte Russe is a store, like a brick and mortar store. But I think now that a lot of these stores are switching over to online e -com, so so which is a, a good thing as well. Here's another cool thing. If you guys are wanting to learn about Shop Inspect and how to work it, how to how to understand these tools, these videos are built for you, right? How to find a top selling store, how to use it, just like I explained to you. So if you didn't get everything from this live, you can get it from the videos here. Product soft search, hot training products, and then watch those videos and you should be good to go to learn how to use it, okay? Um, if you share this with somebody else, give them your link, sign up as an affiliate, and you can get 120 bucks per sign up. So if, if you guys are interested in that. So I hope that answers some of your questions. I went through the entire list. I want to save some for questions for you guys now. Let's go ahead and pop some questions and see what we got here going to the top. What time is it? 818. Let's do another giveaway real quick. So the last one I got a giveaway is going to be 100 bucks. So the giveaway is, if you guys are ready, drop a one in the comment section. I'm going to go through questions, and then we're giving away $100 and call it a night, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Drop a one in the comment. I'm looking for five ones, not from the same person either, different people. Five one. Jule Gray says, is Kevin's cheese board still killing it? Well, he's on. that's on Amazon, and I'm not sure if he's still – I think he's still selling it. I'm not sure how much – Per day he's selling it because I think he did tell me he was still selling it. All right, I see three ones. I see one, two, three, four, five ones. All right, Lisette and Boo, everybody save the day. Cool. All right, your next question is coming in five, four, three, two, one. All right, now what is the question? It says what animals are pearls found in? What animals are pearls found in? You can use Google if you want to. I can't wait to see these these answers because I feel like people are just going to go off the top of the dome and think what it is. Ooh. Aha. Marshall, you won yesterday, bro. I know Marshall's coming through, man. Marshall, you got the right answer, but you won yesterday. So for this week, I try not to pick the same winners for the same week, guys. I know it's hard because you know the answer. So the actual person and Dan Fio, <laughs> Dan said clams. That's who I was waiting for, <laughs> clams. It's not clams, though. So the person that we're going to have to pick because Marshall technically got the right answer, but the person who's winner is Terrace Garden. So congratulations, Terrace Garden. Um, you got it. You get to choose between having this, this face on your book, right? Coming straight to you, or you can get a free unemployed CEO t-shirt, which, um, <laughs> which, uh, you can get sent to you. So there's going to be a link, give us your correct address number and all that. And we can go ahead and get you set up for those of you guys who won prizes and did not receive like a confirmation or something like that. You guys have to make sure you fill out the form. Right, because we check to make sure who's won and who hasn't. Um, if you're claiming that you won, and so that way we can go ahead and um, uh, make sure you get all the information you need, so that way we can get you guys um, situated. Right, so you should be getting a link from Debbie or something like that. So congratulations, she says, or he says, way cool. Thanks, you're welcome. You deserve it. All right, let's go get some of these questions knocked out of the way, and then we'll do a hundred dollar giveaway. Uh huh. And then we we'll call it a night, guys. So I saw some good questions coming from a couple of folks. Um, Tough Jimmy says, hey -o. what's going on, sir? All right, who's, who is asking some questions? Marshall Jarvis says, can you go through the steps from finding a product to searching on Alibaba to making the products 
gets shipped where you want, then how to get how to get actual sales, how to how to get sales and set up your store. What you pretty much asked me to do right here, Marshall, is to literally do a live course. Well, instead of me doing that, you can get the course that explains most of what you just asked in the link of the description. If you click that, it's going to take you to a, a Facebook Messenger. The bot is going to send you, ask you a question, answer the question. It's going to give you access to this free course Kevin created for you guys to take advantage to answer exactly those type of questions. All right. So make sure you understand um, what you're getting. Okay. And if you don't have it answered, Kevin David online on his YouTube channel has this for you. Kevin David, if you search up Kevin David, he has a playlist of for Amazon. He has a playlist for e-commerce, for Shopify, drop shipping. You can watch the playlist. He shows you Shopify for beginners, Shopify, how to get started and explains everything. Trust me, you'll have enough to make a decision on whether or not you want to go this route with Shopify or Amazon or which one is best for you. Right. But I love the fact that you're really inquisitive and you want to figure this out, which is beautiful. Okay. Um, Debbie says, take advantage of the course. That's correct. Health, wealth, relationships. Uh, that's correct. Again, any other questions that we have here? Um, Dan Fial says, definitely makes sense with the videos though. Yep. Do it. Do it with the videos, man. Videos are going to be the best selling thing you can do. I always still compare pictures to videos though, because I always like to make sure that I'm not omitting the fact that pictures are um, cool. Um, or I say omitting the fact that pictures are still effective, but I know videos are just more effective um, at times. All right. Brandon says, if you want, um, not sure what that is. Looks like he was spamming there for a second. Then Fial says, is there anything available that can help make the video sparkle kind of like photo enhancer that is offered? Not through Shop Inspect, but there is a tool. Um, it's called Animoto that one of our, you know, one of our guests mentioned, right? Animoto, let me see if I could, Animoto, this is how you spell it. It's an app created to create some cool effects on your video. So once you download the video from Shop Inspect on your computer, if you change it on your phone or if you do Animoto, I don't know if it's available on computers, but I know it's available on your phone, but you can put cool filters, cool transitions. You can add stuff to it if you want to make it kind of sparkle, like he said, right? But there's plenty of apps out there you can find. If you have Mac, um, you can find, you know, you know, uh, freaking apps that can do that for you. Or you can go online and say online free video effects or free video um, filters or something like that to make your video sparkle, as you said. All right. Let's see here. Any moto was it. It was a good question, though. I like that. I like that. Let's see where we're at. So Dan Fial says, exactly. And I appreciate the learning opportunity here. Thank you. You're welcome, bro. This is why we do this. Cause I love the way that you're just like all over. Um, you know, I love the fact how you're like all over the, the whole aspect of asking and learning. So um, he says, so you can also do picture videos, kind of like a slideshow. Interesting. Very cool. Yes, exactly. So what it does is it takes all the pictures that you saw there and it slides them one by one in a video format, like a quick, cool slideshow, zoom in, zoom out and it shows you the text highlighting the features about that product automatically. Now, if you don't like one of the texts, you can change it, you can make things capitalized, lowercase, whatever. You can change the words however you want. Hit create video, and then you just download the video free and be straight, you know what I mean? So it's really cool. All right, so he says, I totally see how this can work. So yeah, awesome, man. All right, uh, let's see if we have any other questions. Marshall Garvis says, can you give a step-by-step -step example of how to get a store up and running? Uh, let's see if we could touch on this because you asked this a second time. Let me see. From beginning to end from Alibaba. So essentially, once you found your product, like, like I was mentioning here, right? Once you find your product from Hot Trending Products or something like that, let's say Hot Trending Products. Let me show you an example, right? I would go here. Marshall, this is for you. I would check this out. I look at the photos. Of course, I do everything, right? I love this action photo. That would be really cool. This is for practice, goes around the waist, looks pretty cool. You can create the video here if you want to, get free video, you can do that as well. You can add it to your favorites, so all of your favorites get, if you're hunting for just a product, you can just click add to favorites like this, it gets added, and you go to my favorites, and you'll see it right there sitting in your favorites, usually the first or maybe the bottom. 
I don't know how it's right there to the bottom, right there. And then you can always have it there. And every video you create goes to my videos, by the way. Okay. So when you do this, now I want to say, okay, well, how much is this being sold for? And here's the beauty. Instead of going to Alibaba to type it in yourself, you just click see on Alibaba. And now, because Alibaba pays their, pays their uh, makes payments, uh, just make sure you get yours translated to English <laughs> so you can see and make sure that the currency is in the currency that you want it to be in, which is going to be American dollars. So here, I want to see if I can get American dollars. English. English, por favor. All right. All right, boom, there we go. That scared me a little bit. Now we got it. So English and we got American dollars. Now you can see, all right, cool. So somebody, per, so now, for example, really quick, Marshall, I create my Shopify store. You go to shopify.com, not hard. You go to shopify.com, you come here, you start a free trial. Remember, we did a video explaining you guys how much it costs to get per month with Shopify. Remember, it's not as much as Amazon or uh, some of the other ones. But here, $29 a month, basic, gets you a store. You can have two staff on there to work on your store, helping you with the account. Um, hold on, let me get this plugged in. Hold on one second, I'm right here. All right, so now you get $29.99 here. Um, you know that already. And then now you would go ahead and start free trial, type in your name, your email, da 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 that was our old store, just auto fulfilled for me. And then you get a 14 day free trial with Shopify. Open that up. You'll get to learn how to build your store. Now, mind you, again, like I know some people might be like, oh, you don't need a course to teach you how to do this. You're right. You don't need a course to do this. But I tell you what, I'd rather use a course rather than waste my time. I'd rather give up a little bit of money to just save my time from just hunting, see who's telling you the truth, go on YouTube and stuff like that. Um, if you're here in this community and you trust it and know it and like it enough, you can go ahead and search this up. So now that you're on Shopify, you open up an account. That's pretty much self-explanatory. After you do that, you build your store, which um, you can have a bunch of themes you can choose from. Um, if you go to their Shopify theme store, Marketplace, I think, shows you this too. Um, how to manage your business, how to get started, things of that nature, branding, start your business, that kind of stuff. So if you guys, once you open up a place, you can have your store decked out. Once you get that set up, now you can have, um, a, uh, there's a topic called, not a topic, an app called Obelo, which allows you to take items from AliExpress and, and, and Alibaba and put them, AliExpress, sorry, AliExpress and put them directly into your Shopify store, which is what we use. Super easy, super simple. If you ever get stuck, you have the Ninja community here that you're a part of. If you already about the course, you're part of the private group. You have the private group to help you. You also have the Ecom Ninjas group, which is another big group that you can use to help you as well. The other thing you can do is call Shopify, the um, Shopify uh, gurus. They will help you to actually, you know, get your store in order. If you have a question or stuck on something or something's not working right, they are amazing at helping. Right now with COVID, they're not doing a lot of phone calls, so you can have to chat with them but their chatting is on point. Like you ask them a question, they're helping you. They tell you how long you have to wait before someone comes online. So yeah. So after you do that, you open up a store with Shopify. Oberlo um, is an app that you guys can get. Oberlo allows you to open up, uh, get, get items from directly from AliExpress and import it to your store with pricing and everything. If you don't know how to do this, ask for help. You'll get help and um, get it situated. Once you do that, now you can start advertising Make sure you buy, uh, Shopify is going to ask if you want to buy a domain link, you buy a domain link, connect it to your store. Then you start running ads. The ads that you're running, when people click on it to purchase on it on Facebook, you're going to set, you know, $20 a day, $10 a day, whatever, how much money. I told you, remember, that you should have anywhere between $1,000 to $1,500 to have a really good start with this. You can have money to spend on marketing and pay for your Shopify stuff and have shop inspect for an entire year if you want to. Um, but I wanted to make sure you guys are aware of this, that once you do that, you run some ads, people start purchasing. The link that they go to when they click on it is going to be your store page, which is going to allow them to purchase from your store, right? 
And you have to learn how to do Facebook ads effectively, which I can't go through now. It's just too too long to do that. But if you get uh, uh, if you get the course, you'll be explained how to do so. All right. So I hope that helps you. Gives you a quick synopsis of how it works. So the person purchases it. Customer purchases it for the price you have it set. Right. So you know that AliExpress is seven dollars and fourteen cents. Let's say you sell this for twenty bucks. Now the difference between this and twenty bucks is about what thirteen? Let's say sixteen bucks. Sixteen bucks minus let's say seven bucks. For um, for advertising, so you're left with about nine bucks, right? Seven, nine, nine, seven, no, eleven bucks. No, that's wrong. Nine bucks. You're left with nine bucks that you have profit from something you you ran ads to. So now you're making more than the product actually costs. You feel what I'm saying? So that's where you can kind of play around with pricing and making sure the market is liking and digging your price so that way you can dig deeper and after they pay you the 20 bucks you buy it from here for seven dollars and 14 cents take out the subtract the difference also subtract the fact that you spent some money on marketing and boom there you go that's it so that's a quick overview but you'll find more um, through the course and such okay um, cool 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 any new questions I want to drop this down for you guys, and then we can do the selection of the $100 giveaway down below. If you guys are interested in Shop Inspect, if you're interested in purchasing Shop Inspect, Shop Inspect is 50% off with the code 100K in 2020. That is still active, only for a little bit amount of time, a limited amount of time. Um, the way that this works is I'm going to log out so you guys can see the pricing model, so you can see how much it truly costs to run this because I'm not going to make it elusive for you guys. So here, if you do a yearly, you pay about 190, but no matter what, or you do 228, but if you do the 50% off discount, you'll get half of that, right? So that'd be like 114, I believe. 114 for the entire year. So everything I told you, $114 gives you the entire year of Shop Inspect, the legendary version, okay? Um, so I want to make sure you guys understand the deal, see the value in it. So you're not going to be paying this because you're watching live with us. If you get the code, go to go to shopinspect.com and check this out right here. 228 bucks per year. You cut that in half because it's going to give you 50% off. And it's going to be $114 for the entire 365 days. And you have full access, 250 searches a day, all of that. You can search up as much as you want to make sure you find that winning product. I think $100, $114 is a drop in a bucket at 50%, guys. So to be honest, with you, if you have any issues with getting your discount, literally just holler in the group, say, hey, discount code doesn't work or something like that or having trouble. Trust me, we're going to get you situated because this is what we promised you. And mention that you were on the live so we know you got it from the live. All right. So without further ado, without further ado, I hope you guys found this helpful. Hope you guys found some um, value in this, the stuff that I shared going through Shop Inspect, helping you guys to understand um, some cool stuff. Any other questions before we wrap up? We're going to wrap up right now. It's 35. <laughs> Dan, Dan for y'all got some jokes. I see everybody in here. Um, I'm not sure what you mean by this. Um, Marshall, since this is drop shipping, not FBA, can you lose money? I mean, the only way where you lose money, I know my nose it just the only way you can lose money, I mean, not losing money, right? It's testing. So with with this is the risk in business why people just choose to go back to work every day because they give up their energy, they give up their time, they get a paycheck at the end, right? So it's not losing money, but yeah, you can you can get a loss because that's what business is, right? You test things in the market, you report a loss or you report or you report um you know, profit or your port just stagnation, which is like right in the middle where things are just even, right? Where you just um, break even, but you could lose money on Amazon too. And you can lose money here too, but through marketing, it's not gonna be as much money you're losing. You can lose as much as you wanna lose here on Shopify. But with, with drop shipping, you can, with drop shipping, you'll be able to, and when I say drop shipping, it's the same thing. When I say Shopify, same thing. It's drop shipping. When you're drop shipping, you gotta understand that money has to go into marketing and, Every marketing that you do or any marketing campaign that you run is not always going to be successful. So your goal is to find a successful one. And that's the goal. Okay. So that's why, yeah, you can't lose money. Answer your question like anything. Even in school, you, you pay for you pay for a degree, $50,000, $60,000. And guess what? You lost that money if you didn't get a job in that degree, right? Or you, or you, you, you lost your money or you considered a waste if you switched degrees. 
You know what I mean? So now what happens at the first degree? So people are, you have to, you have to shift your mindset to understand that this is a business that you're looking to start, but you have to make the sole decision to go all in, into it. In order for you to go with the same mindset, you went to school says, Hey, I know this is going to be better for me in the long run. Also, if I stick with this, with this business model, go all in, it'll be better for me in the long run. You know, at least figure out how to make money away from a job. All right. Uh, can you do a step by step? We talked about that already. All right, cool. Let's see no new questions. Did I skip anybody? Um, somebody mentioned something. Mide Sofek, I remember you, bro. He says, hey, um, Drew, I won the unfair advantage, but I haven't received any feedback. Did you fill out the link? If you haven't filled out the link, Mide Sofek, go ahead and fill out the link. You should be receiving it now. If not, message me on Facebook so we can get that link directly to you. But Debbie's here. She's throwing the link out at everybody. Um, make sure you fill out the form, guys. Fill out the form because or else we don't know where to send it to. Or we won't know you won, but we keep track of who wins because – Every time I say you're a winner, we get a snapshot and we send it to our team. And then, but if you don't fill out the form, we can't send anything out to you guys. Um, Julie says shop inspect to Shopify. So yes, yeah, so shop inspect is just a tool, just like Zombase is a tool to find a good sh a product to sell on Amazon. Shop inspect is a tool, a software to help you find a product to sell on your Shopify store where you'll be drop shipping items. So hope that helps answers your question. Marshall Garber says, thank you. You're welcome, brother. Um, Julie Gray says, Rory was telling me a while ago about electronics open. I mean, versus electronics versus. I'm not sure what you mean by that, bro. Uh, Dan Fial says, Andy Moto, thanks for answering your question. You're welcome, my man. Julie says, "Very, you are very cool. Yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> Let's say, I just started Kevin David Amazon course. What is better to do, Amazon or Shopify? Ah. Good question. Damn, that was a good question. All right, so I love the fact that you asked that. So for those of you guys who are confused about which direction to go, here's what I tell everyone who, who I've talked to on the past um, about this, um, you, know, uh, you know, personally, if you guys remember this conversation, okay? Amazon and Shopify are two different business models and it just really depends on the type of person you are. So I can't say one is better than the other because you may be the type of person who may not like the way Amazon works as opposed to Shopify. I'm gonna break it down very simple. If you are a person who has a larger amount of money, capital wise, and when I say large amount of money, here's a number, 5,000, at least $5,000 to start, three to $5,000, let's be fair, three to $5,000, no less than 3,000 to get a good start on Amazon, and higher that you're good for this business model. And the way Amazon works is now you have money to buy products in bulk, right? So which means this is why the product research is so important for Amazon is because with Amazon, you know, with Shopify, you just make you just test the numbers to see who has what. You're not buying in bulk. You're not putting money out there first. You're putting marketing out there to see if people will buy. And once they buy, they send you money. Now you go buy it from the supplier at a cheaper price, keep the difference. And that's how drop shipping works, right? But with drop shipping, it takes more hands-on. You got to create the ad, set the ad copy, which is fine. If you're a marketer, you like to do that kind of stuff, building Facebook ads, finding people to do customer service for you. That's going to be Shopify, right? Always staying busy. You want to be your hand in the pot. If you're more like Amazon, the hardest part is literally finding a good product and a good keyword, right? Once you get those two and you have some money and you're the type who wants to do all the work up front, pay the $3,000, $5,000, right? To buy the products, to get it sent here to the US, or if you find a US supplier, get it sent to the Amazon warehouses. So that way, when they see your listing, it says Prime and you're doing it via FBA. FBA says fulfillment by Amazon, which means Amazon fulfills your orders for you and they handle all the customer service stuff for you as well. So unlike Shopify, you don't have to like talk and deal with the customers who are upset. Amazon deals with that. They So when Amazon, something goes wrong with your product, the only thing the customer does, they can rate it, but when there's a return and all that stuff, Amazon handles all the returns for you and all of that. And because of that, Amazon will charge you small fees every time you sell something to help pay for the fact that they're helping you sell your stuff and sending it to the customer within prime one to two day shipping, right? So that's how that works. You're going to need money with Amazon though. Amazon is more money heavy, but if you find a good winning product, you'll have stuff like, um, I don't know if you guys seen, 
yesterday we had a guy who had $100,000. Yesterday he hit $100,000 literally minutes before the live and I showed it to everyone and he talked about it. So check out that to see how his journey was. A guy, two kids, full blown job. He's a respiratory therapist, a wife at home. Like, you know, just they're both, you know, they're both in the medical field, but he still made a hundred extra thousand dollars revenue and he got to keep 51% of that, right? Because obviously you cut, cut, take out the cost of everything to sell, to, to advertise. He takes home $50,000 on top of his already good job, right? So now he can leave the job if he wants to, right? So now he has choices. So this is why jobs are like creating your own business is cool because you're creating choices for yourself, right? So, um, with that being said, I hope that answers your question. So it really depends the kind of person you are. So if you're Amazon, you want to be more or less hands-off. You don't want to be talking to customers. You just want to put the money out there, find a good product, do all the legwork, find a product, find a keyword, get it popping. You should come to our live on Wednesdays because Wednesdays we talk about how to launch products and stuff like that. So next week on Wednesday, 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Lisette, um, that's how you should do it, okay? So that way we can um, get you set up. Uh, Marshall says, depends on what's suited your needs and how much you want to risk. I think, yeah, Marshall has a good answer as well too. Um, let me see, he says, what, what, that's it? <laughs> okay, he says, I want the course. Then you have to just buy the course, man, I'm telling you. But if you want the free course, you gotta check in the link in the description. Um, Tara's, Tara's Garden says, this is a great question answer. I'm, I'm glad you love like that so far. T1 says, any tips on product selection? Even when I review hot products and shop inspect, I'm like, I don't know what to pick, which is cool. So this is why hot products is cool because instead of you going to AliExpress and say, I think this will work, let me save this. I think this will work, copy and paste onto like a separate spreadsheet. Shop inspect has it already laid out for you. They already did the homework to see what's selling, right? But you gotta make sure that it, it there, the second way to test that is by running a test campaign on Facebook through marketing, creating a video, putting it, running some test ads on there, spending about $10 a day, right? 10 to $20 a day, just to check to see if people are actually gonna purchase it, right? Obviously you need to know how to run Facebook ads. So I would do YouTube, how to run a Facebook ads completely. If you get the course, it shows you how to run some marketing on Facebook. So that way you can have the full on all the necessary tools you need to run a successful ad campaign for that, right? And so if people are buying and you find that it's profitable, keep the product, keep keep it available. If not, drop it, go back to hot, hot trending products and test a different product. If you have enough money, you can test four or five different products at the same time and see which ones are winners and create a different ad set for every single product that you have and see which one are winners and then just stick with the winners and leave that on your store. So make sure you guys understand what you're looking for, you know? I think it's a really um, important thing to know that, um, if you're looking to find out a successful product, you have to test to see which one is the best. So he who tests will always win, always. So T1, just pick one and go with it, test it out. If not, go back. And if you are asking, how long do I test for before I know it's a winner? Look, Facebook ads, I've, I've spoken to them on the phone. Surprise, surprise, right? They said it takes about three to four days for an ad to actually mature, right? Even though sometimes they may still say learning on it for conversion, um, conversion um, campaigns, but it's still right about the end of the learning phase, right? And so it, I don't know if it's a game they're playing with you guys to try to make you keep you spending more money so it changes, but three to four days, Facebook, should, it, it should, you should be able to make a decision whether or not it's good or not. So by day set, hour 72 should be the latest before you, um, the earliest, I should say, the earliest before you should decide whether to turn it on, keep it on or turn it off and try something else, okay? I usually go about four days, five days for any, any campaigns, anything on Facebook. So e-com or agency stuff. Um, Boaz Tani says, do you sell on Amazon? I put a pause on my store to focus on agency stuff. But yes, I do have a store. I just don't have any products currently right now. But I am coming back to it, though, because I kind of miss that stuff. The thing is, once you choose a, a direction you want to go with your business or which business, whether Amazon, drop, uh, Shopify, drop shipping, or agency, you have to focus on one I tried, I had all three going at one time and it was not a good thing for me, right? For me, I, I'm the best when I focus on one, set up one, my agency is, is on and popping now, it's getting moving, you know, getting clients. Now I get to say, all right, now I get to use that money and now go back into Amazon the way I want to get a really expensive product so that way not too many people are gonna compete with me, blah, 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 and I'll have 
enough money to do that because I have now a business that's feeding my other business to create more money for my business. You see how that works? Um, <clears throat> what program do you use to link AliExpress to Shopify? It's um, Oberlo. It's a free app, but you pay like a basic fee, like 10 bucks a month or something like that to, to do the premium stuff, which is worth it. 100% worth it. If you're going to go with Shopify, you got to get Oberlo and they're partnered up. So you'll know it. It'll kind of force you to kind of use it or show you how to use it. They'll tell you all about it. Mike Barron says, hook a play up. <laughs> I'm not sure what you mean, but all right, let's see guys. What time is it? 1847. I went way over time. How do you deal with returns? Um, simply, I mean, if they're, if they want to return it, um, I have it shipped to me. Normally what we do is have it shipped to myself. I'm not going to ship it back to the supplier, right? This is not Amazon FBA. If it was Amazon FBA, it'd go straight back to Amazon. But for me, I would have it shipped to my house. I'll see what's wrong with it. If it's defective or something's wrong, I'll contact the supplier and let them know this is defective. Or I'll have it shipped to me. And if I see that they're just, they just want it to just wanted to return it because they weren't happy with it, it's fine. And I give them their money back, right? I did the same thing that Jay did because it just keeps them happy and they don't have to leave you a bad review and you have to worry about the bad review on your damn page. So hope that's cool. Thanks for the live video. You're welcome. Y'all accept EBT? <laughs> Bro, <Bruh>, stop. <laughs> How much? I mean, if that's a serious question, by the way, I'm not sure because I don't do the payment processing side of stuff. Um, I thought you were joking, but if you're not joking, um, I'm not sure you can try it. I think it should work. I think it should work, but you got to try it. You got to ask them, bro. Just ask them to see if, it, if they'll take it. I don't do anything with the payment stuff. How much uh, do you need to start a store with one product niche? Oh, I may, I did this live last week. Remember I told you no less than 800 bucks. I think it was 800 or 950. I forgot what it was. I was like 950, but I rounded up to a thousand dollars. If you're if you're gonna do that, and the reason why I say a thousand is because you want to have enough to do marketing to really test your product. If you're really strapped for cash, no less than 800. I promise you, any less than that, you're gonna be penny pinching for everything and feel like it's not enough for you. So if you have 800 and you feel like you can save some more, save a little bit more money, save an extra 200 bucks, and then get started because now you'll make better decisions, get better quality apps, and test things a lot better. All right. Uh, should I name my store something general like Mart instead of certain niche? Well, I mean, you could, but Mart sounds kind of cheesy to me. Um, we did Tech Us Out Now. What I really wanted was Tech Me Out Now, like Check Me Out Now, Tech Me Out Now, which is a tech store. I tried to think of cool names. It took me about, I don't know, a day, maybe a few hours to think of a cool names. But they have really cool name generators you guys can type in into Google, and they'll give you some cool names if you type in stuff you like, like, electronics or say, you know, tech and type in zone, it'll be like zone of tech or tech zone, tech zone me or something like that. And you can be creative with it. But Mark, you can, but that's kind of cheesy. It sounds like I'm going to buy some milk and bread when I hear Mark. Um, could it be beneficial if you get face uh, friends to promote it on Facebook as well to grab other people like pay my friends 10 bucks a day for advertising? Uh, it's not going to work out the way you want to, man, because you don't know who's on their friends list. People have their stuff on private and nobody will be able to see it. You're just giving away 10 bucks. I would rather give 10 bucks to, to Facebook ads because at least you know that they're going to be pushing it to people who are most likely going to buy your stuff um, as well as running my own campaign. Oh yeah. I mean, I guess you can, but I just wouldn't even waste my time on friends. You can test it out and see if it works, man. I would say test it out. Um... Um, I haven't done the hundred dollar giveaway, guys. Not yet. I'm gonna do it as soon as we're done. I want to make sure I hit all these questions once I get off here. All right, we already saw that one, right? Let's set. Right? Is that the one we just saw? Here, boom, boom, boom. Yep. Media Sofix is, you're the best man. Thanks, man. No problem. You have analyzed Amazon clearly well. I do sell on Amazon and it's amazing. Boaz, thank you for that. So if you're on Amazon, Boaz is a perfect example. He's here watching. If he has any income coming in from Amazon, he's probably just keeping his eyes out and ears out for other opportunities, which is smart, right? Again, once you're in Amazon, one of the smart things you can do, and I've seen a lot of smart people do, is open up a Shopify store for their thing. Like say, for example, if you sell on Amazon a lot of kitchenware, kitchen stuff, kitchen appliances stuff, just so that you don't feel like Amazon has complete control of all your money and your, and your customers, open up your Shopify store, right? 
and sell the same products or offer the same products. So that way, if anything ever happens to Amazon, you already have a store that's set up, built for you, already set up, ready to take on customers. You can keep the customer information. You have direct link with the customers in case anything happens to Amazon. Amazon is great, but in case anything happens, they suspend your account, put you on pause because you changed your last name after getting married and they don't know who you are. They think it's theft and they need to pause your account for like three weeks. You don't want to deal with that kind of stuff, right? But it happens in any business. You'll have hiccups. But just to keep safe, people who are smart on Amazon also open up a Shopify store and have them both running. So you have two channels of ways to make money, which is super, super smart. How do you deal with returns? I talked about that. I have it sent to my house and refund them 100% to keep them from putting bad um, reviews on me. I need your assistance. <laughs> um, holler at me afterwards. Um, e packet, yeah, e packet shipping. I still use e packet. I know some people say they don't like it. I, I, I my customers have not complained about e packet to be honest. I think there's a different, new, fresh way of doing it that's like fresh, but I'm not. I'm not stressing, bro. If ePacket, if they're complaining about ePacket in length of time, then I'll probably find a different supplier that's closer or something like that to, to supply my store, supply my customer my needs, right? Um, Debbie, how can I get the my pending book? If you already filled out your information, I'll double check Mide Sofek or Debbie, if you can check with our squad to see what the holdup is with my guy so we can go ahead and get it situated. Um, Julie Grace says 1500 bucks. I would definitely recommend that. And hi, Debbie, do you sell on Amazon? <laughs> Um, I'm not sure Debbie would have to answer that question, but that was the last question I have for today and who I'm going to pick, who am I going to pick today? I think the person who gave me a good run for the money, hmm, person who's been really active, really, really active. Hey, look, man, I see you commented a couple times and I like that you were super active. Um, Julie Gray, I know you're not getting a course unless you are gonna plan to buy it, but you're the winner of the $100 giveaway. Congratulations, everybody round it up for Julie Gray. Um, you're gonna get a link from Debbie or somebody from our squad team. Congratulations on that, fill it out. Make sure you put in the correct PayPal email. If you don't, you will not get your money, all right? And I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> All right. So hope you guys found that, found this super helpful. If you guys are still struggling, have some questions that build up over the weekend, bring it next week. We're here every single week, Thursday, 530 Eastern Standard Time. Um, here for you guys. Try to help you guys get in the right mindset, number one, because once you have the right mindset, then you'll have the energy and the motivation to continue chasing the actual dream, which I love that some of you guys are already doing. Uh, if you found this helpful, last thing I'm asking you, please Drop a comment on the favorite thing that you saw me cover today. What did I do that was helpful? What did I do that wasn't so helpful I can do better at? I'm always trying to improve these lives for you guys. I don't have any pride. If I need to fix something, let me know. You know what I mean? Um, I try to keep it fun. I try to keep it helpful. I try to keep you guys engaged. Congratulations. Look at Julie. Super happy. I love it. <laughs> You're welcome, man. You should be getting that 100 bucks soon as you fill out that form. But um. With that, being, with that being said, guys, if you have any more questions, please let me know um, or save them for next week. Um, Lani, I, I went over this earlier. So if you want to rewatch the replay somewhere in the middle, I talk about how to open up a Shopify store really quickly. It's really, really easy. Once you go to Shopify.com and click start my free trial, um, you should be getting started right away. If you have any questions, the Shopify gurus on the site with their customer service is amazing. And I say that wholeheartedly. Um, if you want to talk to me afterward, you can as well. Uh, also, for the guys, if you didn't take advantage of that deal for the hundred, uh, the fifty percent off, you only pay one hundred fourteen bucks for the legendary plan that gives you one hundred percent access the entire freaking year. I don't know what else to really give you. That's a really a deal of a century. All the stuff that I showed you about Shop Inspect was a complete walkthrough, so you guys don't feel nervous or scared about what you're paying for. And you have seven day free trial. So now you can test it. If you don't like it, it won't charge your card, cancel the account and you'll be done. Nobody's forcing anybody here. All I want to do is give you all the tools so nobody can say nobody helped me to make my dreams come true or to make me not allow me to become an entrepreneur. All right. So loved it off the cuff. Terrace Garden, I love you for that. Appreciate it. If you guys have any other words of encouragement, things to say about the lives. That would be cool. If you guys find it helpful, say yes. It was amazing. Great. If you didn't find it helpful, say it sucks. Thumbs down, whatever. And um, 
I'll see you guys next week. Continue hustling. Remember mindset first and the rest will fall into place. I love you guys. Stay 